A cornerstone of popular culture around the world is getting a new look. After more than six decades, Playboy will stop publishing images of nude women. Instead, it'll show intimate and provocative poses. The decision is part of a redesign of a magazine whose subscriber base has been tumbling. When Playboy was first published in 1953, featuring Marilyn Monroe, it was left undated because the magazine's founder, Hugh Hefner, was unsure if there would be a second issue. For more than half a century, their countless images of eye-catching erotica and nude centerfolds made Playboy the model for adult magazines. Dominic Patton is senior writer at Deadline Hollywood. If you look at Playboy, its influence upon America and upon the Western notions of certainly sexuality are incredibly profound. I mean, here is a magazine that started literally when Dwight Eisenhower was president. And now it's 2015, and it's still published every month, and it's still something that people recognize. Despite its success, Playboy has suffered from the Internet explosion, in which pornography is both free and easy to find. The magazine's circulation has dropped from more than 5.5 million in 1975 to about 800,000 readers today. Playboy's approach will scrap the nudity and increase the raw intimacy. When the magazine removed nudity from its website last year, web traffic jumped from about 4 million to about 16 million unique users per month. People who probably never even broke open a Playboy magazine know who Hugh Hefner is, know what Playboy is, know what that lifestyle is, and it's something which speaks to them of an age of a sort of a freedom that maybe they're still looking for. And while the photos may change, Playboy says its history of publishing provocative articles and newsmaking interviews will continue, something the magazine has also featured since its very first issue, as Hefner explained to Charlie Rose in 2005. It was all there. I mean, there were food and drink features in, in, in it and in fashion. But you wanted to do that from the beginning, yes. find good Absolutely. writers. That, that was the notion. Hefner reportedly agreed to the redesign after it was presented to him by Playboy's chief content officer, Corey Jones. The first of the new issues will be unveiled in March. But didn't your grandmother always say it's better to leave things to the imagination? <laughs> didn't she always say My that? My grandmother never said that to me. <laughs> but. And the article, but they are still keeping Playmate. They are still keeping Playmate. Oh, okay, that's a relief. Yes. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. I noticed they gave me all the Playboy reads today. <laughs> just, just say it. That's... That's because I wouldn't have read them. <laughs> but I'll read I it. I would have. I would have. I think it's a great story. I'm hired to help. What can I say? <laughs> it's a great story.